an opinion and this is the episode that we are going to be You've and been are for. at Astros game Pinellas Park for Deadly Rival Roller Derby. We're here now. You're going you're to hear this intense guy next yeah. to us who decided to park his ass right yeah. next to us. Affectionately he's, he's become known as Drunk Man. Yeah he's, he's super excited that we're doing this so uh, everyone should be excited that he's here. Uh, this is Liege of course. What's up Joyce? A and, <laughs> and McBride. It's just us. No intern. No nothing. Oh we got a mess here. Yeah. We're, we're sitting we're sitting just in the suicide seating. Ten feet away. Suicide in turn seating, two, if you yeah. will. I believe we're in what is known as turn two. Directly across from the sin bin, which All is right, we got We got black silk going around. Here's what we're going to do. Yep. We, we've, got, we've got a number list and a name list of uh, all the different players here. We're going to do our best. The to, bitches, uh, if you will. Yeah, we're going to do our best to describe this situation. We're not doing a play-by-play. -play. We're going to do a normal show. Uh, but we are going to talk about the, the scenario. Oh, look at black silk getting yeah, through. It's not, you're not even caring about it. Oh, nice breaks. All right, so... Um, so the match just started. We've seen a couple big spills already. High energy. Yeah, I, I, w what I can say about here is that... There's hey, more fans than I anticipated. Really? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I would say this is probably the most There's that it's been since I've been here. here. Yeah. Um, here's, here's what we need to do. We need okay. to start the show like we normally do with What's New With Me. What's what's new with okay, me. What's New With Me? Let's see. Right before last show, um, I believe the transmission went in my car. I oh, got a tow to bad. a place. I got a tow to a place, and uh, they're going to be working on it. Uh, Shout out to Murray Motive, my so boy Nate's. Yes, exactly. Uh, what we're doing is uh, on uh, tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll get a phone call with some positive news. Oh, big spill! Uh, hoping for some positive. Oh. oh, another big one. Vicious, vicious collision in turn two. They've got uh, the, uh, the the hope is that it's not too bad. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, what that else could go doing? from that could go from eh, no big deal, <laughs> a couple hundred bucks to all right, time yeah, for a new car. Couple grand, yeah, yeah. pretty much, yeah. Uh, and, and with what my car's worth, uh, two thirds of it uh, would be the cost of a rebuild transmission. So I don't know if it's really worth yeah, yeah. that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what else is new with me? I've got. Uh, uh, oh wow, big wreck. Big jam up. Th this is the kind of show that I wish we had video on. Yeah, we'll have to come back. We'll have to come back. Uh, I, I think their last home game is sometime in October. All right, so, so we've got, got time. a month and a half. We've got time. Uh, hopefully our audio will be better by then. Uh, we uh, yeah, we had some technical technical yeah, we difficulties. We had serious technical difficulties today. I like how I like how your volume is so much better than mine. You, you see how I it's just, coming across on I here? I just you have see? a nicer voice. What, what if I what if I go like this and add it? Oh, now see that's go. a lot better. Yeah, brutal. I like that. Now you're now the fans' are ears are in pain. Is that too loud? No, you're fine. Okay, good. All right, so um, oh, I'm trying to think. Oh, I feel like we got to be quiet right now. Yeah, they're announcing like points. They're starting a new, a new uh, no, okay. a line, go. if you will. All right, so well, what's oh, new with you? Man. What's new with me is this is pretty awesome. Um, it was just end of the world hurricane storming out there. That was you, terrible. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. But thankfully, right when we got in the parking lot with the equipment, it decided to stop raining. That was good. Yeah. Um, what else is new with yeah, me? Yeah, it actually couldn't have gone better in I that have, aspect. I have a sad what's new. Uh, I shared this with you previously. Any people out there who are film fans of film, uh, specifically Jurassic Park, you'll know that Sir or Lord Richard Attenborough just recently passed away, I think, in the last couple of days. 90 years old. You know, I would have thought he would be older than that, yeah. honestly. I mean, he... He looks older. <laughs> he does look older. I mean, think about it. 1990, what, three? Jurassic I was going to say 93, 94, so that's 20 years ago. Yeah, and he was You're older than that. you telling me he was only bit. 70 then? <laughs> Apparently. That's a lot of white hair. Oh, I got real quiet. Yeah, did we? Got I feel like... We had too many avid listeners there. I wasn't excited about that. I don't know about that. But yeah, that's right. All right, that's it. Yeah. See, that's right, they're back to going again. Um, other than that, nothing really. I had another one. If I remember it halfway through the show, I'll bring it up. Yeah, that's it. I, I have a feeling, compared to our normal shows, there's going to be a lot of... Uh, interruptions and... Interruptions. And on and the fly moment. On yeah, the fly thoughts. Yeah, what we're going to do is, because there's two halves, uh, there's, there's two... 30 minute halves in this. Everything good has two halves. Sandwiches. Yeah. Relationships. Re yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Everyone has the, the breakup and then they get back together. Yeah, speaking of which, the intern is not here tonight. Um, she, Temporary breakup? Yeah, no, no, no. She's. Uh, I just mean for the evening. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she's not. Uh, not feeling not it? A, no, she's been to, I think, three of these with me. Oh, yeah. Over not it. feeling it. Yeah. Not feeling yeah. it. Yeah. She, she'd rather watch golf on TV. I like golf. 
I don't really mind golf, honestly. But I love uh, golf. I, I just feel I no, just feel I'm like it's so low. I just I'm feel not, like it's so low. Yeah, you're fine. Like Han? Huh? Like Han? It's so low. Oh, didn't see, see what he did, did there. there? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Oh man. All right, so they're starting another jam. The score, right, so the score right now is ten to nine. I don't know what that means, zones. but well, that no. just means that the team with, in my mind, I'm looking at that with my little knowledge of roller derby. It just says to me that the team with ten points is beating the team with nine points. Yeah, I don't really know what the rules are here, but uh, but I think that uh, obviously the one with ten is beating the one with nine. And I'm, I'm assuming hot it, and if it's like golf, then. We should oh, a power jam. Oh, I don't know what jam. that means. No, that oh, means double someone's points. In the sin bin. Yeah, but that means double points. Means Those of you don't know, the sin bin is just like in hockey. Wow, she went in with a vicious hip. Yeah, yeah, yeah you that see girl would have got killed. Yeah. It's like you narrowly avoided death there. Who is that? Number what? Thirty-one. Thirty-one. That would be inducing That's in pain. Inducing in pain. That's a good name. Like oh, that. she escaped I'm injury. I'm gonna give a shout out to someone who's not in the match this evening, but I overheard announcing the names earlier, and it was one of the most fantastic things I've ever heard of. Her name is Sarah Dactyl. Yeah, she's not playing tonight. Yeah, no, no, but that's just, that's a fantastic name. It, well, I mean, okay, let's take a look at some of these names. Say, if you don't know, the two teams are the Hot Rod Hotties, and I think you already said that, did you? Hot yeah, and the Catastrophics. The catastrophics. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's kind of a, an Irish, it's the cat, oh, strophix. It's got a little hyph, uh, apostrophe in there. We, sh we should start, well, let's just say the names. Uh, we'll, go, start we'll, with we'll start with the Hot Rod Hotties. Our, our favorite team. Yeah, absolutely. The clear, wow, points have changed substantially since we last talked. Absolutely. I'm it wondering is now 10 to 19. I'm wondering if the Hot Rod Hotties are on the right here. I, because they it were is. the last That's one. their logo. That's their logo. The one on the right. I recognize that. Okay, all right, perfect. All right, so uh, starting off the roster, is it in order of captainage here on this one? Um, I, I, what I did was I put the co-captains on. Um, the Hot Rod Hotties do have another co-captain, but she is not playing tonight. That's the reason it. I didn't add her. That's the one who broke her leg or whatnot, right? I or don't think ankle? that was her. No, I don't know. What I, uh, what I did, though, was go uh, numerical order here. That makes sense. We're, we're men of reason. Numbers are... So uh, number eight, starting up with Clean Up. Not the greatest name. I don't, I don't hate it. No, 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 no. It's, uh, I mean, it's a, a pretty, pretty basic name. Pretty, pretty basic. basic. Maybe she does her, her talking on the rink, if you will. Yeah. She cleans up bodies. Yeah, she, she, yeah. Well, who's next here? Oh, wow. There's, there's, there's three people in the sin bin right now. Yeah, That's intense. It's getting ugly. Oh, look at that. Oh, down on the knees. You know, I'm not going to oh, lie to you. Get, oh, geez. Yeah. And I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm going to go ahead and say that they're serious. Like, this is not a joke. No, it's not. No, they're no. falling down and getting kicked and kneed and hip checks that you would that would make the NHL cringe. Now, now here's what and I'm going to tell And they're just getting right back up. Be, before we get back into the names, so far, this is the most hits, the most knockdowns, the most everything that I've seen any time I've been These here. These are rivals, I've heard. Well, they both play here. They play each other this a lot. They're, their home field. What they do is um, both these teams have a combined travel team. That plays Miami, Lakeland, you know, yeah. teams like that. Um, but overall, these two play Spend against each other. Here. Yeah, way too much time together. And, you know, just like in the NFL, so when you like practice the, with a team, you're going to end up fighting that It's team. like the Bucks and Panthers. They just hate each other. Kind of, yeah. Kind of. Oh, it's kind of real quiet there. Oh, so excuse me. Gets right through. Yeah. She, uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop some knowledge here. Jammer busting through, getting some points. I don't see any points, though. Did she call it off? No, she did call it off before she could actually get through. Oh, uh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, okay, let's get back to the numbers. Okay, uh, what do we, what do we, okay, so we, we got we cleanup, so, cleanup, so we got number 17, we kept Susie B. Catastrophe. That's a lot better. I like that. That is a lot better. No, and, and last time I was here, she actually got kicked out of the game. Wow. Yeah, actually got ejected from the, the game. The ref just said no more. Well, too many penalties. Look, I mean, Susie. I guess you can only do it so much. Yeah. Uh, she's actually oh. really good. I, I'm surprised after watching this now, this will be the fourth time, that she is not a captain. Black Silk just taking a vicious elbow and said, I don't care. Dude, she just weaseled her way through Listen, that she, entire thing. She's very fast, Look very good. That. Of course, we're partial to Black Silk a little bit here. Leave it off. Leave it off. She says, no, I want to go back for more. Well, no, here's the thing. The other jammer on the other team waved it off. Yeah, because she saw Black Silk coming yeah, for yeah, another round. Exactly. Wanted to stop the bleeding. Okay, who's back? Oh, and next on the list. Oh, Black Our Silk. Very own Black Silk. 19-inch 19 19 waist. From 19 inches. Special off Tosh.0. Yep. 
we, I had a hard time finding that video. Yeah, you have to actually find her her page. I forgot exactly what it is. I'll, I'll have to find her YouTube for you and let you know what it is. All right, we'll, we'll get back to that. All right, so the next one here is... Uh, this is a good one. In 30, 31? This is a good one. Yeah, yeah. We've, we've already talked we've about talked it. About Inducing about it. in pain. That's good. Oh, man, the next one's good. Number 40. Now, Te <laughs> this is good. I didn't, this didn't, I didn't pick this up when I was perusing the list earlier. It kind of just flew over it. TT Motorboat. <laughs> That's awesome. The only, the, I think the only way that could be better would be like DD Motorboat, like Double D Motorboat. Yeah, Double D Motorboat. That's even but, yeah, uh, but, but, but TT Motorboat is good. Now, when I wrote on here, Bench, she's like, not the bench coach. She's the she, sub. She, well, no, she's the one calling the, the lines. Like oh, she's, okay. She's, she's kind of like the manager for the yeah, coach, kinda, manager. Yeah. I got you. All right, uh, the next one, uh, uh, brutal. 104, the D I'm train. Noticing, that's good. I'm noticing their numbers get up high in there. Yeah, I guess you can pick whatever you want. I, I don't know. I. That's probably when she was born. Oh, uh, brutal. No, that's actually no. It's not. It's not. That was the uh, the lady at the door, the one who let us in. <laughs> no, no, it's not. No, <laughs> there's, no, a couple, no. there's a couple 360s, 308. <laughs> All right, so we got 104 was D train number eight, Ms. With a Defiant. Z. That's good. Ms. Defiant. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, 206. Is that Burian's Havoc or Burian's Havoc? I'm Lost in translation. I didn't just... listen to the announcement on that. Okay. I like Havoc. That's a good part. Uh, let's see. Number 360. The Annihilator. The Annihilator. Uh, That's I, I good. See what she did there. And the play on words. One of them doesn't exist, so <laughs> making words. It's even better. 826, Roxy Bandit. Roxy Bandit. I like that. Yeah. Depending on what kind of She's Roxy. She's the co-captain. She is. And, and number 1964, Tippy Headrush, who Head I Rush. actually, I, I met Tippy one night. She's the one working the door? Yeah, and she's the one who actually got us in here. She's in charge of uh, getting everybody. Nice uh, lady. All the, uh, the NSOs, if you would call them that, uh, in here. Also, avid listeners, I hope you can't see what I'm doing right now because this is a microphone. But we, it's official. We're, the consummate opinion has made it. We're, yeah. we're wearing sticker badges that say media. Yeah, we have media badges. That's I mean, amazing. That's, I, we could get in anywhere with this. We Can should wear imagine? this next time we go to like a baseball game. I was going to say a something. baseball game or a box game. Yeah, like, absolutely. Hey, listen, Dude, here's. We're media. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello, my name is media. <laughs> exactly. All right, so that, that's for the Hot Rod Hotties. Let's go to the Cat O Strophics. Good. Number zero. It's a ballsy move it to is. name yourself Zero. And the name? Just Emily. And no, it's not Emily, and I'm just like talking shit. It's oh, Just Emily. No, her name is Just Emily. So that's pretty good. Let's see, number seven, Harley Sin. Harley Sin, I like her. Like I think Harley she Quinn. said she's new. I think new she it. said she might be a rookie. Could be. Oh, look at the co-captain. This co is a good name. Yeah. Number 18, Susie Stitches. Oh, that's good. That is pretty intense. It's just like a name that says, I'm a badass bitch, and yeah. I dare you to jam through me. I'm not saying you're not going to get there, but there's going to be stitches involved. Exactly, exactly. Who's next? Oh, this look, is good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I, so far, I'm liking the catastrophic yeah, name better. These are creative so girls. I like this. Uh, number. So the next one is 2020, 2020 Hindsight. That's awesome. Play on numbers and words. Exactly. This one's good. Number another co-captain. Co-captain, uh, number twenty-four, Zom, B, brain. That's she hits hard. That's pretty good. Brain damage. We this one's impressive. Oh, what does wow. that mean? Thirty-three and a third Empire wrecker. Oh, that's good. So, yeah. That's good. I didn't know the third was part of the number. I was like, is this on the metric system? I don't know. Do I have to convert here? Well. You would assume the newer versions of Microsoft Word automatically convert that into a very small number. Yeah, not Microsoft like 2003 no. or whatever we have at work. Uh, let's see, number 42. A rookie. Puck her up. Puck her up. Ah, Bring take off the end of that P and you got F her up. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't going to go there. Oh, boy. 308, Time Bomb Betty. That's a good one. See, that's the kind of name that... To me, it's like a throwback to the old school. Yeah, oh yeah, That for makes sure. me think of the old school, yeah, like, yeah. 70s ladies. Yeah, remember that. when that was, uh, I used to watch on ESPN2, it was... Cheap uh, Seats? 
Uh, I think it might have been on Cheap With the two seats. twin brothers, they would make fun of all like the old oh, sports. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. I, think yeah. I saw a derby on there It was like times. Philadelphia versus New York. It was like all intense roller derby, bank track. Yeah. Speaking of which, um, remember Black Silk told us that they're in the process of uh, getting the bank track actually set up somewhere. Oh, they have ideas for locations? Uh, well, they have the track. Yeah, we talked about yeah, that. Yeah, now it's just getting the location for sure. That's um, key. Location, location, location. Uh, let's see, number 430. One more after that. JT Hooker. Yeah, H O O K H E R. So that's good. Again, playing words. And then the last one, number 451, who's the bench coach tonight. She actually helped us with the tape. Oh, that's a good name. Perusing and bruising. Yeah. Perusing and perusing yeah, we really, and bruising. We really appreciate I like We that. really appreciate that. He definitely yeah. helped us out tonight. Yeah, we had a trip hazard here behind our, our booth. Our little if setup, will. if you will. And we were worried it's it's right in the way to the bathroom. We thought someone might trip and die. So yeah, there's a lot of kids here. It speaking is. of which, so, oh, okay, never mind. The, kids. the guy next was intense. Like he's very intense. Oh, he's into it. Yeah. Dude's not. Dude, not. If there's anyone in here right now that's fucking around, I assure you, it is not that guy. Yeah. <laughs> no. Hopefully he'll listen sometime. You know, I he's, hope. he's already asked. He's well, very he excited. Expre he's expressed on the interest in what we were doing and seemed pretty excited when we said podcast. Absolutely. Gave it to him and, well, you know, we really got to get those cards made. We do, we, yeah. Because it, here's why. And no offense to any of the avid listeners who have found us by us telling you the name of the show. Consummate is not a word that people spell very often. It's terribly spelled, especially the people that I tell at work. Yeah. Oh, you should see the variations. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. But, I mean, let's be fair. Even if you're a good speller, how many times have you ever written that word down in your life? Oh, I, I don't think prior maybe to doing this. Maybe three times? Yeah, maybe three, four yeah. times. Absolutely. All of them within the last six months to a year? <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit more than that. You know, uh, Drew Garabo, when we were originally going to do the show, I, I happened to see him, and uh, I asked him, I go, e you know, what should the name of the show be? Like, what? He, well, I asked him, I go, we're planning on doing a podcast. He goes, you need to think of some crazy name that everyone's going to know, Sticks like Elephant Fucking Rhino or something yeah. like that. And I go, I don't know about that. but uh, Somewhere in between yeah. Consummate Opinion and Elephant Fucking Rhino. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think uh, I think we got a decent name. Yeah, that's pretty good. And it's true. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. You know you know what's the best? Have I know a lot of you listening right now are like, what does he mean it's true? Go Google the word. Look it up. I, we already went over. You don't know how to spell it. So obviously you don't know what it means. So we've got... Uh, have you checked out the disclaimer on the website? On ours? Yeah. Yeah. Did you change it? No, 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 no. It's the same as it was before. Okay. Uh, but it's uh, it's pretty funny. Ooh, oh, everything's action. Hot everything's action using right in parody. front of us right now. You know what I've always wondered is, you know, sometimes they start on the other side, sometimes they start, you know, wherever they end. I guess the little blue lines it's, here it's are potential gotta, starting points. It's got to have to do, like, maybe like the, the circles in hockey, like the face-off circles. You don't just get a face-off anywhere willy-nilly. Now, you know what I love is when they call the jams, mm -hmm. they do the DX suck it. Yeah. Not not like the complete suck it, more no, like the Billy Gunn suck it. You can tell. It. Yeah, not yeah, more like the Billy Gunn. He goes to the yeah. side. Billy Gunn, he, everyone was doing the suck it all yeah, the yeah, way, yeah. hardcore. And Billy Gunn was like, you know what? A tr True DXer, it's not going, it's not enunciating this. You get my meaning? Yeah, well, the throw the wrists. I think he was thinking more, you don't need for me to give you the spot. I'll point to the side, you'll find the you'll spot. I think, out. yeah, I think that's pretty follow, much where he was going with it. Follow the yellow brick road. Uh, speaking of yellow brick road. Oh, wow, bursting through, virtually untouched. Okay, I now know DF. the guy next to us. So, Drunk Fan is going to be DF, so we DF, can say okay, that so without DF. getting All right. punched. All right, perfect. So, DF. DF is a huge catastrophic fan. Huge catastrophic We fan. might have to interview him. Okay, Black Silk has made her way through, but I have a feeling this other jammer is going to stop it. Yeah, she's scared. I don't blame her. She ah, she it. stopped she it. Yeah, she called it. Coward! Yeah, so DF was real pumped, and, and, and rightfully so. Who, whomever that was. That, you know, that was who pretty was that? Just guessing, I'm going to say Susie Stitches. Just from performance to name, I'm going to say that was probably know. Susie Stitches. I don't know. We'll see. Here's the thing. It was just 41 to 29, and that just got him 41 to 39. That was a 10-point jam for that. Wow. Yeah, but like I said, she just squeezed through there like a greased BB. A gr oh, my God. Greased BB. You know what would be cool? Yeah, it's impossible. We can never do it. What? Set up the table out in the middle there. 
<laughs> and have like rotating bar stools that we yeah. sit on. Yeah, there's no way. Well, I mean, we. Well, no, we wouldn't. I was gonna say everything's got to be wireless at that point. Oh, Friedman just messaged me. He asked if we're oh, still yeah, doing what? the show. Let's see what he said. Well, he says, if you're still recording, Black Silk. Uh, uh, he goes, Black Silk better be ripping more throats out than McGruber, or I'm gonna be highly disappointed. Well, she's done a couple. I've seen a couple. Another. Virtually another greased BB. No, see the 20, last one. That's hindsight. That's hindsight. Yeah. That wasn't the same one though, was it? I don't believe no, so. It, it might have been. That, that was her. It was the one right next to hindsight. What number? See, she doesn't have an armband. I can't see what number she is. What the one with the purple shorts? No, she doesn't have purple shorts. Right there. We'll figure it out. Kind of looks like that zero. It looks like just Emily. I think you guys just experienced <laughs> the majesty of DF. That was it. There's a wave. Oh, they're trying a to three start man the wave. wave. That's good. See, that's effort. I appreciate that. Problem is it's going the wrong way. If it goes the other way, it might make its way around. Mm. No, you don't think so? No, it's not, it's not going to happen. Dude, you're just seeing Speaking all. of waves, don't mean to interrupt you there, but we've all been to a sporting event or whatever and seen a wave. Waves are badass. Everyone loves Get a good wave. Oh, oh that was just Emily. That's who it was. Just Emily just almost took out our table, and that would have been fantastic. You've all experienced a wave, and it's great. Absolutely. Have I was fortunate enough to be witness to a vertical wave. Have you ever seen that? So normally the wave goes, yeah, goes around, around the yeah. stadium. I saw it once, started at the bottom right by the ice rink and went up to the top and okay, then now, right back down. Yeah, but then how does it get to the next section? It, no, no, no. Just it, it, the whole place goes from oh, down I get it, to I the get ceiling it, right. and then back down to the ice. How do you set that up? It's not easy and that's probably why you don't ever see them. <laughs> But it, it was a very, very cool sight. See, All right, who do we got going here? Who do we got going? Do some YouTubes for Vertical Waves. See if you can get hey, in there. 826, we got Roxy Bandit jamming for the Hot Rod Hotties. So they haven't started yet. This is very similar to, ooh. Like, I, I see elements of rugby in this. A little bit. Now, listen, this Just Emily character is, oh, like, hardcore. Hardcore. Not. not Watch. Hardcore. Oh, she called it off. Didn't get to see it. <sighs> if there was a number person in this building that is clearly not fucking around, aside from DF, which, as you know, is drunk fan, it's just Emily. No, listen. From what I've seen, <laughs> last just time. Emily? I'm starting to understand why the just is there, because there's no reason it's just not. It's not just Emily. We'll it's see, fucking Emily. Well, see, the, the, last, the last one we went to, um, she actually lined somebody up. Similar like a Brian Urlacher situation. Oof. Lined him up in just chest bump. Took him to school. Oh, done. Yeah. Graduation. Done. Graduation ceremony and first day enrollment all in one meeting. All right, we got Susie B. Catastrophe going through here on the jam. So basically, for those not in the know, the, there's blockers and jammers. And both teams' blockers set up in like kind of a line with their elbows and stuff side to side, and they try to prevent the jammers from getting through. And... The blockers line up some feet in front. The jammers get a, a little go, and then they go towards line. They try to break through, and I guess they keep going back and forth. I think we talked about it. Yeah, we did uh, with, with Black, Black Silk, Silk a couple yeah. weeks ago. But so far, it's pretty interesting. I don't, I don't understand the point scheme, N none whatsoever. That is reminding me of cricket. What? The points. I don't know if you've ever watched cricket, but very little. I, I could have watched it for an entire year, and I don't think cricket I would have or croquet. Cricket. Okay. <laughs> that would be something to watch on television. Croquet. Interesting side note. It's a fun game. I'm sure you played it in the backyard. I'm sure at some point well, in your life. Like bocce ball. Yeah, I played bocce ball. Yeah, yeah. Old school, like old people, like your grandparents' games. Just, just Emily's on the uh, jam again. And she's through. And she called it with the quickness. Yeah. What do the points go up to? Or is uh, it a time? Two. It's a time. It's time. It's, it's a two 30 minute halves. Two 30 minute halves. So we're still in the first half here. No, absolutely. 43. Oh. Psst. 49, 46 Hold on. hot rod hotties. As we speak, the points are climbing. Dude, last game, hot rod hotties lost by about 40. Oh, the br brutal. Uh, it, uh, was a it was a squash. It was a squash. So it was almost like we did a movie trivia. That was more than a squash. Joyce and, and yeah, McBride. That, yeah, yeah that's not a way. That was a squish. <laughs> that was, that so was it's brutal. a close one here. Catastrophic's just getting it within two points, 47 to 49. Do you have any news stories? I do. I do. Okay, what do you got? All right, well, first thing I got, we, we actually got some good ones tonight. 
And um, unfortunately, avid listeners, I'm not going to be able to look things up willy nilly because I don't have we don't have the Wi-Fi. The wing wham is no down wifi. here. No Wi-Fi's. All right, I got about seven or eight things, which okay. we'll, we'll be able to knock it all out tonight. All right, That's no problem. It. All right, first one here, the way we start out all the time. Woman, daughters die of heat stroke and heat stroke in car. Congratulations. Florida? No, no, in Maryland. In Maryland. No. Oh. Uh, let's see. It was in Hagerstown, Maryland, which I, I mentioned this last time. That's the uh, same place that uh, the gaff moved. Oh, is it? It is. Let's see here if I can minimize it just enough so I can still read it. Maybe we should call him and ask if she's black or white. Yeah. Uh, you know, by the name, I'm going to go with possibly white. Very pasty. But might have mixed kids. I don't know. Yeah. So you never well, know. Well, Charles does live there now, so. Yeah. So a woman and her two young daughters found dead in her stifling car in the middle school parking lot died from accidental heat stroke. How many kids? Uh, two. Oh, both your kids at one, one fell swoop. The formal cause of death was hyperthermia and environmental heat exposure. Now this was hyperthermia. Hyperthermia. Oh, so too okay. much. Too, too much heat. Gotcha. Uh, the um, now this happened. This happened June sixteenth. Okay. If there's a day of the year you don't leave a kid in a car, it's the middle of goddamn June. Well, I mean, it could be July or August in Florida, but but I mean you, June. Yeah. When you think of summer. Yeah. Now here's the thing. Whoa. Now this, this was at a middle school, and what happened here, what happened here was an employee of the Western Heights Middle School, leaving on the last day for teachers before summer break, spotted the bodies in the late afternoon. The outdoor temperature peaked near 90 degrees. That's brutal hot. Surveillance oh, video. Oh, we have an injury. Someone's down. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going we're, 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 we're to put it on pause here for just one okay. second. So what's happening now is... Injury, it seems to be pretty pretty painful. Who's hurt? That's uh, Susie B. Catastrophe. Ooh. Susie B. in pain. Is yeah, she is rolling looks like down that there. Right now, yeah. And now the referees have set up a defensive wall in front out of respect so that the people can't see the injury. They're they're T bowing in I front of her, if you will. I wonder what the injury is. I wonder if like she it really got like hurt. It was because her back. Well see, the last one I was here. Uh, there was a back injury. It was actually, I believe it was inducing in pain. I, I'm pretty sure that was her. And um, it was a back injury, yeah, for sure. She looked like she was holding her back. Or hip, something in that area. See, I, did, didn't, I didn't yeah, just, see. I just, feel like, I just feel like we're not being that loud. You, you, you look at the, the little deal? I think we're good. Look I've at the never little seen deal. a little yeah. deal in my life. Oh, speaking of which, <laughs> show, I wish you were here. I really wish you were ah, here. Ah, speaking of little deals. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're going to pause again real quick. Actually, none of you guys are even going to notice a difference. Yeah. It'll be All right, so it's back on. Uh, Susie B. Catastrophe looked like she fell. Maybe a little tailbone injury, uh, but uh, she is up. Did walk off, so that's a positive thing. Susie B. back. I see what you did there. She's back. Oh, that was an unintended one. Yeah, I see what you did there. No, she's not back in the game. Well, she's back alive. She's yeah, over yeah, there. She's, she's not on the rink anymore. The medics right, so have cleared her for normalcy. To continue that story, surveillance video at a local Walmart showed this lady buying a DVD player about 6 a.m. School school surveillance showed that car arriving at the school at 6.16 a.m. So just right after she bought a DVD player, it's going to a school. Yeah, that makes sense. Then driving around the back of the building and parking in an employee lot, where it remained until the bodies were found around 4.30 p.m. So she was a teacher? No, no, no. No, just random lady. Just went to a school with a DVD player and killed her two kids. Yeah, what's with the DVD player? Maybe put it on for them? Maybe watch a video? I don't know. In her car? You don't plug it into the thing? I guess. That's just strange. It is kind of the weirdest one that uh, we have. I'm, did, what did, where did she go? I, I forget. Where did she go after the kids were... Did she just leave them in there, or was she in there with them? No, she was in there with them. She died with them in the car. Oh, she died too. Yeah, it was oh, so mother that's and what kids. that was. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's weird. Why the DVD player? Maybe to let them watch movies. I don't know. My, uh, my, my hope here is that we can get Black Silk at halftime, maybe give us a little uh, insight yeah, on, yeah. The, on the game. Ooh, someone just went down pretty hard. That's Black Silk. Is that Black Silk? Yeah, it is. Look at her, though. I know she's getting right back in there. Slowly but surely, she's right back in. She's a trooper. Up. She really is a trooper. And I have to say that most of the, every time I've seen someone go down, boop, right back up. All right, so what uh, what was that one story you were talking about, the uh, the guy shutting down the lemonade stand? Oh, God. Of course it's in the state of yeah, Florida. Florida. Yeah. Of course. I posted this on the page, the Facebook page earlier. 
Florida man asks police to shut down kids' illegal lemonade stand. Oh, the classic illegal lemonade stand. Hey, you know, it's, it's true. He's a, he's a menace to society. Um, basically, the, the gist of the story is this little kid goes out there like we've all done at some point in our life. He sells lemonade and cookies, like 50 cents for a cookie, a dollar for a lemonade. Very this, harmless. This dude, <laughs> as an old guy, neighbor, has been complaining and calling the cops, like, repeatedly for a long time. He's filing complaints with the city. He wants them to, to make, like... Over the lemonade stand? Yeah, he wants Seriously? them to, like, to, like, use Florida legislative, like, precedent to shut him down for being an illegal business. He says the children are loud. It's bringing unwanted noise and traffic on the street. That's a disruption. This was the thing that blew my mind. He goes, the reason I bought my house here was because it was a nice residential area. I didn't want to buy my house in a business district. Seriously. Seriously, that's what he said. He, didn't, he thinks that, that it's like a legitimate business that's going to drop the value of his home. So a kid selling lemonade for probably 50 cents is yeah. a legitimate business these days? He's worried about it. Man, if it, I, I wish I knew So that. the police basically, you know, they don't care. Joke's on him, basically. Yeah, the joke's on him. The police actually took a poll of the neighborhood, and no one cared, and most people were actually explosions of the mind that someone actually complained about it. But it's Florida. I mean, what? Where in Florida was that, by chance? Do you know? don't remember. It, it's here. It's in Palm Harbor. It might even be. It's like in between no Palm way. Harbor. And, yeah, it's in Dunedin and Palm Harbor. It's like somewhere in Palm Harbor. Oh, wow. I didn't know it was it's that incredible, close. incredible, isn't it? I would have said maybe in like Sun City. I would have seen that or something like that. Right. You know, like an older folks. It's Florida. Florida knows no bounds. All right. So uh, we're at halftime right now. And uh, they're playing bingo. Yeah, they they got a bingo. kid announcing bingo right now. What were the prizes? Uh, Maybe we should have got in this. Uh, I don't know. I think they announced the prizes, but uh, I think we missed out on that one. I think we're so in in into the whole technical difficulty situation yeah, that we had at the beginning here. I don't want to get up and jinx it. One pound of frozen ground beef. Is it a lucky new winner? I mean that. I will take a pound of ground beef. Actually, I did have some tonight. We actually had tacos tonight before I came. Very nice. Oh, yeah? Very nice. Tacos are Avocados, good. sour cream, all kinds of so stuff. So it appears as though Black, oh, Silk, Black Silk is, is on her way here. towards us. Yeah, she is. I don't know if she's going to use the bathroom. Yeah, she is. No, 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 no. She's, she's going to grab the third mic. Grab the third mic, Silk. Welcome. Hey, guys, you enjoying the, the bout so far? Yeah. We are. We are. Hey, you took a hard hit right at the end there. I took a couple hard hits. You took, you took a couple hard hits? Yeah, uh, what? We, we, Go ahead. I was going to say, I'm surprised that, well, not surprised, but you guys, you girls go down, and there's some pretty nasty freaking collisions out there, and you just get right back up. Yeah, we get right back up. I mean, the smaller you are, the better, because the less weight you have to pull up. Like, the big girls sometimes it takes a second, but uh, I can get back up pretty easy. But, so what uh, happened over there to Susie B? Susie B, she was jamming, and she was hit by Just Emily. Um, that girl is intense. Just Emily? Just not messing around. Just Emily. Yeah, she's, she's for real. She's really good. <laughs> and she was she on the puts the deadly team. in Deadly Rival. Oh, does she? Okay. <laughs> anyway, so as soon as we was jamming and uh, Emily has a blocker on the other team, hit her out of bounds, which is illegal. Oh. Hit her after the, the jam was called off, which is also illegal. And Black Cliff clearly stopped. Yeah. But, uh, now, now did, did, did just Emily get in trouble for that? She was ejected from the game. Oh, oh wow. Here she is. We should get an interview with her. Oh, we should. Yes. How do you feel that you're oh, wow. mean? She's really mad. Yeah. Say it louder. She's really mad. <laughs> but uh, she's leaving. She's leaving. She's not only ejected, folks. She's dejected about it. Oh she's my God. Yeah, she was just. I mean, like I thought she was, did We thought we were, she was going to get major for it for sure, like sent to the sin bin. But no, she was actually ejected. Rep said from the game. enough of this nonsense. She's been playing pretty hardcore. I was surprised. She's, she's a good jammer. Oh, she's, she's with DF. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, no. He, no, he's walking around. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah so, so. so let's see. We're there ha they have seven players now. We have nine. Now, how many do you play at one time? Six, right? Uh, four from each team. No, five actually. Okay, four, five. four blockers and one jammer. Okay. So a total of five. So they, 
they should be more tired by the end of this because you guys um, basically have two lines worth. We have two lines worth. They don't. She's got more subs. <laughs> got, yeah. They don't. El I eloquently said. It started off as a rough game. It was. I was. Oh my god! I was looking for the first time ever. I was looking forward to halftime. I was exhausted. That's good to know. Well, I picked the right night to come. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we, you had. We had some serious technical difficulties at the beginning yeah. of this. What it's happened? No, we couldn't get this going. I don't know. It, 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 it's like everything when I left, everything has reset. So we basically had to reset everything. It's a convenient feature that but we paid extra money for. But once the national anthem was over, we were Boom. good. Oh, good. Then perfect. Perfect timing. Yeah, oh, perfect timing. Anything. Yeah, we're actually, you holding that mic is, we're not even recording. This is just all for show. Yeah, it's just joke. No, I'm just kidding. No, yeah. we're, keep <laughs> we're keeping no, up appearances. We're recording. We're recording. No, we've had a lot of people who've asked about this and what's going on. Yeah, yeah it's good. Yeah. It has been good. It sucks too because I was gonna make we were gonna make cards, like little business cards with the show information and everything. Oh, why don't you guys don't we have business cards? Just don't no, have we need to. We yeah, need I to. need you to. We could have given out like ten of them already. Well, hey, next bout, next bout. Next bout, which is in October, correct? No. The next I thought um, you said that's the last bout. One. It's not a home bout, it's a travel bout. We are playing up against Miami, which is gonna be an intense game because Where? Here. Right okay. here. Now are Astros you playing? State. Yes, I yes I will be playing. Because you're on the is that the travel team? That's the travel okay. team. I am on the travel team. Um, it's a it's a combined from girls from both teams, both home teams. So we are going to be playing up against Miami. They're coming down here. The last game we played, I believe, I don't know, it was a few months ago. I believe it was May. I didn't play in it, but we had traveled to Miami, and we beat them, and they weren't expecting it. Yeah. We, we got a lot better, and uh, so it's going to be an intense game because they're going to try to retaliate. So that brings up my question about the injury to Susie B. Will, will there be she retaliation? <laughs> will she there be? She's also on the travel team, and she was planning to play uh, September 6th. Um, is that when the travel game is, yes, September 6th? Yes, it's a Saturday morning. It starts at 9. I'll be in Orlando. Oh, okay. That's all right. We'll have another home bout. And so probably we may yeah in october yeah i thought it was october 10th if, if i'm not mistaken somewhere close something to something like that i think october 5th is the championship out oh, no. yeah, bingo oh, bingo's also over and we didn't win so oh. exciting yeah. did you guys buy cards <laughs> no, we did we not buy cards oh. no i kind of regret it what were the prizes do you know we always have some really neat raffle prizes i don't know uh, team merch. Oh, do you guys sell shirts and stuff? We do have Deadly Rival Roller Derby shirts, which you're more than welcome to purchase and wear. I might do that. So. Yeah, we. Uh, I thought we might have some people uh, come out tonight, uh, but they were all working. Everyone's working. Josie was supposed here. to come. Yeah, she was. There's a good, usually there's more, but... See, like to, me this, this, to me, this is more than there was last time, like the last game that I was here. To me, th this is more than in my preconceived notion. I, this is more than I expected to see, which really? is good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all family and friends. And if you're saying it's okay, then that's even it's better. That's great. We're, we're happy to see anybody who can come out. Good. Good. Fantastic. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully you don't go to the sin bin later on. No. I haven't seen you. I haven't gone yet. I know. Oh, my God. When bin. I first started, I was, like, cutting the track all the time. I like There was a couple times I was almost ejected for the game because of all the majors. Oh, it's well okay. We don't want to see you get I've ejected. Gotten, we want to see you earn a sin bin trip, though. <laughs> yeah, no, so I'm, I'm, we, looking, I'm, I'm looking for Children a win. Children doing a dance? <laughs> yeah, it's like a, a dance special in the middle. The cha-cha slide. All right. Now, this is bringing me back to when I was a kid yeah, here. Yeah, all the Couples time. only. What's the, what's the dance? The, you put your right foot in. You the hokey pokey. pokey. No, we really Remember don't do the hokey pokey. pokey in? Oh. This is the cha-cha slide. The memories. Yeah, but they they had the opportunity to forfeit the game and the hotties win because the cats are down to seven. But no, they were gonna they were gonna play. Man, I hope they didn't do that. That would suck. That we'd would have suck. to we'd have to finish up our show, <laughs> just doing a normal show. From what I I've know. seen, I don't anticipate that happening. They no. seem like look, you never know. They they get serious. Good. You you know what the thing is is they're all decked out in face paint. Yeah, and all that. Where are you guys I, I with that? I would like to see them finish. It would to me know. it would be catastrophic. It's Oh my if they God. didn't. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's amazing. Nice one, Slim. Uh, well, I mean, like I, I'm glad they didn't forfeit. Like I want to earn the win, but but so technically. So you guys are up, right? We are up. We are at 70, and they are 52. There's five minutes left. In and half it's time. just time, right? Whoever yeah, there's a 30-minute second half. Yeah. How do you get points? We were we were trying to figure out well, like, like you know, the, when what I, they come in. When a girl wears like a panty, 
Okay. It's a helmet cover, and there's a star on it. Like, I, I wear it a lot. The jammer. The jammer. So Whistle you're saying blows. a lot of the time you wear panties on your head. Yeah, I do. Excellent. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Uh, the whistle blows and everybody goes, and the jam both jammers try to get through the pack, which are the four b uh, total of eight blockers, four from each team. And uh, the first one to get through the pack is the lead jammer. Which, which we've noticed you've been a few times. Yeah, yeah, I try to be. It's, it, it's an advantage to be able to call it off. And then the next time you pass the pack for each opposing teammate you pass, you get a point. So if you pass all four, you get... Uh, four points. If so you get a point for every person you pass. Yeah. And if you pass the jammer, too, you get a grand slam, which is five points. All right, so really? that's how the points are, are racking up substantially. And so that the more times you go around, now what about their other jammer? If that person catches up to you, does it change, or do you still get they, those points? Oh, we get points no matter what, as long as you're passing somebody inbounds. Okay, okay. But, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you guys go. All right. You enjoy the rest of your game. We are rooting you, you on over here, yeah. trust me. Thanks, guys. I know that you it. have an avid avid viewership over here in oh, this yes. little section where we're sitting. Yes. All right. Well, I am peacing out. You guys enjoy the rest All right. of All right. We'll see you at the end of the game. Good luck. That was fantastic. Yeah, that was good. The uh, little cha cha deal over here, I'm not really. Oh, yeah. Is it wet on your head? That's weird. <laughs> always, always with you, sweetie. Uh, yeah, it is a little bit. Man, that's too bad. I, I wish we could have got a little, uh, little interview with just Emily there before she dipped yeah, out. She pieced out. That sucks. She just left. Wow. See what he did there? <laughs> I'm on a roll. I'm hot tonight. All right. Let's see. Let's let's get to our next story while All we're right, in yeah. here. Oh, we have uh, a little lull in the action. All right. Let's see. Next thing we got here. Oh, this was, uh, well, we'll go to the Florida one next. Why not? Weird. Yeah. Well, of course my page is loading. Why not? Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I guess that's what you get when you don't have uh, four Gs. We're working on two Gs and, and no Wi-Fi. Okay, I have four G at least. You got four Gs in here? Yeah. Who you have? AT&T. Oh, I got four Gs now. Oh, you're good. They were down to two. and then. All right, so this is from uh, about three days ago, a Florida man. Oh, well, let me... Let me go to the title. Shoe cam used to oh. film store upskirts. What a creep. A Florida man cut a small hole in the front of a shoe, inserted an iPod, and then went to Walmart and recorded upskirt videos. <laughs> That's where you go. Yeah. Well, in, in Sanford. Let, okay, check on. out this guy. That's where he went. It yeah, looks like on. his face is, like, melting. Yeah, it's like he took an English guy, stepped on his face, and then, like, he opened the Ark of the Covenant and looked at it just a little oh too long. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, but so honestly, if you're going to go through the effort, think about this not morally, legally, you know, okay? If you're going to go through the trouble, cutting holes in your shoes, installing a secret camera to get a view at some, the parlance of the times, I believe, is sniz. Yeah. You're going to go to Walmart? Yeah. I think, okay, if it's me, I mean, not that I'm doing it, but That's if it's what I'm me, saying. I'm going your, to the mall. Go, exactly. Something, somewhere. Or somewhere, you know, like, a, 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 I don't know, an upper-class bar where, where MILFs would be present. Somewhere like, like Barnes & Noble, maybe. Barnes & Noble would be a good Starbucks. spot, I guess. Yeah. Star, Starbucks, okay. Panera Bread, place somewhere like that. Somewhere that's yeah. known for attractive, lookable women. Yeah, not Walmart. Not walruses. No offense to any of you who shop at Walmart. I also shop at Walmart, but we've all been there. We've seen... The average clientele. I'm not installing a camera on anything I own to look up anything that they have. Well, see, it's not even just a camera. It was an iPod that he cut into his shoe and installed it in the inside to take pictures. Isn't that ridiculous to me? Ricoculous, even. And what a uh, lady so turns him in. Caught? A lady turns him in. Uh, of course, we're uh, we're uploading here. Uh, perfect. Te technical difficulties. Yeah, no, it's not that. It's just that, you know, for the first time we've done it outside of a place where we have, as you would say, Wi-Fi. Yeah. And uh, wiffy so it just, it just takes a little bit of work here. We now, are in an old school steel building. Now, officers arrived after a customer told them she was shopping in the toilet paper aisle when she noticed a man standing relatively close behind her. Kent added, her name's Lily, Lily Kent. Kent added that the man appeared to be attempting to sneak up behind her. After he briefly walked away, oh, creepy. he returned to following her and shadowed the woman all the way to the checkout line. Ugh. All the way? Kent told police she had initially observed a hole in the top of one of the man's shoes, but didn't think anything of it at I the time. Honestly, 
At that point, you stomp on his foot. What are you looking at? True. Here's a good video for you. That, that would be pretty funny. Now, this guy is a software engineer. Well, obviously, he's cutting holes in shoes and installing iPods. He, you know, uh, if, if she would have stomped his foot, that iPod would have been toe up. <laughs> you, this is more than usual, right? Yeah. Now. This is really more than usual. It's, I'm right just, now. I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm motivated by the excitement of the. I mean, there's pink flags everywhere. There's groovy paintings on the wall. There's a so lot of spandex. He was arrested for video voyeurism. Yep, which is a crime. Uh, it's a felony charge. Good. So, uh, yeah. How not old was that creep? Did it say? He was 40. 40. Yeah. 40. <laughs> God, like, this, this is another thing about stories like this that blows my mind. Like, you read about these people installing cameras in their shoes or going, like, to the bathrooms and peeking through and glory holing. You know what I mean? Like, uh, have, the, have these people ever heard of the Internet? Like, when do you reach a point in your life where you can't find something that gets Captain Winky ready to roll, like, on the Internet? Like, and for free. Yes. Yeah. No danger of getting arrested. No danger. I, I just don't understand people. Oh, I see. Oh, I see Susie B. Catastrophe over here. A little farther over. She's getting ready to get out of here. Uh, we're looking at a... Uh, she looking... Looks like an arm injury, actually. Yeah, it looks like an arm yeah, injury. Yeah, arm she, she's up and walking. She seems to be okay. It looks like it hurts. Oh, DF's coming back. We'll give, we'll give our best to Susie. She'll uh, be back. D yeah, DF's back. That's too bad. There's I was really hoping to get something you know, just this Emily. dude that just rolled in, and I mean that literally, who rolled in. Yeah. Whatever happened to Wheels? We lost track of Wheels. I haven't uh, seen him in he years. Went, I know he, he was staying in uh, Oldsmar for a while. Uh -huh. Who knows what's going on with him now? Who knows? <laughs> That would be an update. We should do a Where Are They Now episode and find Wheels. For those of you that well, don't know, Wheels, Joyce and I used to book worth at West Shore Pizza years ago, and he was just a guy who lived down the street in a wheelchair, and his name was Wheels, and he loved it. Um, strange cat. <laughs> strange cat. I liked Wheels, but he was a strange guy. We're gonna, I'm going to do my best to find him. Remember his real name? Uh, it was, uh... We won't say it on air. He might be in witness protection. I, I want to say Eddie? No. No, not Eddie. Something similar to that. I know what his last name is. Eddie is a good, weird guy. His who, dad's name was Eddie. Yeah, Eddie's a weird guy who walks around town and does stuff on his own kind of a name. Well, I mean, that wouldn't be him because walking's not an option, <gasps> so... Wowzers! Yeah, that was pretty bad. All right, so the, the next story I got here is a uh, man calling 911 to complain that a stripper wouldn't have sex with him. Well, valid complaint, but not for 911. No, so a uh, guy calls 911 uh, after paying her $350 for a private dance at a gentleman's club. This, this is something we've never done a story from. Montana? I didn't know people even live in Montana. Oh, look, Black Silk going here. Action started in the second oh, half now. Busting through to fall back on one of my old analogies. Ooh, ooh, a greased ooh, baby ooh, just big busting big big through. Big right in front of us. Black Silk going around for number two. She's going to squeeze right through there. Number Still two, announced. number squeeze two. right through. Really? Now, oh, nice. I yeah, see yeah, what yeah. I did there, but yeah, I didn't even yeah, see yeah, it. Intense. Black Silk calls it off, getting, it's got to be it. Did four, you call it off? No, she hasn't called it off four, yet. Four, eight. Does she have panties on her head. She does. She does have panties. She just called it off. Yeah, she just called it All off. All right, so if I remember correctly, panties on her head. Means she passed the them twice. That's eight points, five points, ten points. She should be getting ten 18 points. So this should go up to. Oh, wait a second. Got six points, maybe only pass. No, maybe it was only going around once. Maybe. Yeah. Great that job. That just goes to show you, I still don't understand the point scheme. I just hope they don't quit. I just uh, knew she got points. Yeah. All right, so this guy, he uh, called police to complain that the stripper wouldn't have sex with him. Uh, he was, when he did not get the expected sex, he dialed 911 to register a consumer complaint. This was a mistake on McDaniel's part. After questioning, police arrested him for offering money for yeah. sexual favors, which is a misdemeanor. What do you? You can. All, uh, I'm trying to throw the guy a bone here and give him the benefit of the doubt. No say homo. Maybe he was no destroyed. Homo, right? No, none. Not an ounce <laughs> of homo. All right, maybe a little bit. Maybe he was super drunk. But have you ever been that drunk? Uh, and if I have, I don't think I was operating a phone. Uh, yeah, I don't. 
Well, 911, there's an emergency button on like iPhones. I, I, you know, I don't know. I guess that's true. Now, but where, where does the thought process go so drastically wrong? Oh, that you call 911? 911. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I, that's the problem great. Is, now, this guy's first name was Daniel, or no, William, I'm sorry, William McDaniel. It is unclear whether McDaniel allegedly sought the sex in the champagne room, well, which obviously. has only one review on Yelp. In March, a... Oh, that's the name of it? The champagne room? No, 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 Sagebrush Sam's. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, um, that's the rule. Oh, There's yeah. no sex in the champagne room. Yeah, absolutely. Now, in March, there's a Yelp review under the title of Dan M., could be McDaniel. Could you never be. know. Complain that the club is dirty and smells like vomit and needed a complete makeover. He added, even the stripper pole looked like it was going to break loose from the floor. Cleanliness and attitude need to be addressed. I will not go back. Was this before or after the incident? Oh, before, for sure. So he's a liar. He yeah, went absolutely. back. He went well, back. it doesn't say that that absolutely was him, though. We, I think we all know it's yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. Of course, there was no complaints that they won't have sex with him. What's he look like? Let me see oh, I here. just took it off. It's going to be on the website. Okay. I, all right, let's see here. You know, I, I might I might save something for the next show. I got I got one here that I'm going to save, I think. But I, I am going to go to one that we looked uh, at the other day. Uh, the Dirty Bird. Oh, that's great. A fried chicken company that uh, everyone thinks this fried chicken van's logo looks like a massive penis. And I mean, I, I got to admit it does. No, there's no, there's no question. And I get the D and the B. Backwards it's together, but the way balls. it's spread out, dick and balls. It's a chicken. Well, D and yeah. B, dick and balls. Yeah. I mean, this is intentional. This just, I like this story more because this proves that people like me can successfully get a job in advertising. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you read this story, for you, like, say we lost touch, I moved away. You read this story, advertising executive Todd Brindle. I just gave away my whole name. I'm going to have stalkers, <laughs> all the avid listeners. Avid, uh, executive advertisement, McBride, is in hot water for this new logo he made for D&B Chicken. You'd be like, well, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But what kind of person doesn't, it has to be like a, a spoof, if you will. Yeah. It has to be like a. I would pay for that, though. Oh, uh, look. As she was saying, she wouldn't be there. There she is. She is in the sin bin. Black Silk! In the sin that is That is terrible. Someone got laid out over there. I, I kind of saw her doing something to her. I think, I think we jinxed her by coming over here. I think. No. Oh, no. no she I said jinxed I herself. It. Go out there. Be, ag be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. Oh, my God. What are you, a high school cheerleader? And she did it. Look at this. Fierce battle. Oh, man. Pumped. Pumped. Who was that? All right. She can go through. Is that Hooker? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, she's coming back around. Coming back around. Let's see who oh, that is. Oh, she back in action? Black, oh, Black Silk goes down. Oh! 33 and a third. No, that's 33. And a th that is Empire Wrecker. Empire Wrecker that just went through. That is a pretty intense look. Actually, uh, when, when you look at the top dude, of that it. That ref is a big dude. Here's the guy with the, the stripper deal. Yeah, that looks Did like Did the it. ref fall? Oh, he's just taking a break. He's fixing the tape, I think. Oh, okay. I thought Black I Silk say, I thought took so. out the tape, the line. Okay, see, do you see what just happened there? No, I don't. They just got 20 points because when there's when the other jammer is in the sin Falls bin, out of bounds. it's double points. Oh. Like, so it's uh, Black yeah, instead Silk. of being five points, it's 10. What 10 have you done? Yeah, so great job, Black Silk. That's uh, so it just went from a 30 point game to a 10 point game real quick. Yeah, that's man, that's, that's excitement. Hey, it's, we didn't want another Super Bowl from last season. I mean, that was no fun. We want a close game. I would love for there to be a repeat though, like a, a rematch. Oh, is this? Oh, we're it's gonna, just to We Emily. have to have her on. Just Emily. Come here. Grab a mic. Grab a mic. Yeah, just talk. Just Fine. talk. So we're oh, going to come get on. What your, happened? Your ejection, the foul. Yeah, it's all in fun. The physicality. Can I say you can say whatever you, whatever want. you want. All right, so we have uh, so we, we have, have here the villain of the night. 
You don't want to hear just, yourself? This is just Emily. Can you hear us? Yeah. Okay. So this is just Emily. We're getting an exclusive interview with the villain of the evening who was ejected from the match. The victim, Susie B, has left the building. She seems to be all right, though. So, so give us a run now. What happened down there? It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. Very specific, full of details. What happened? Yeah, we don't know the, like, the rules real well. It was, so. far, it was far away as well. JT Hooker hit Susie B out, and she fell down, and I fell on top of her. And I got ejected because they thought I hit her, even though I didn't. So did they think that you, like, fell on her on purpose, like a, a macho man from the top ropes type deal? or? I don't know. Probably. It's too bad, though, but because... Susie B said that she doesn't think that it should have been an ejection. See, that's unfortunate. Yep. Well, that unfortunate. Last, last one I came to, she got ejected. Too many fouls or something like that. Yeah, she got too many penalties. Easily the most intense player yeah. here. You are the most intense you, player. We were Every noting. single time I come, I love it. Before the, before the incident, we have been making a short list of people in this building who are not fucking around. You are number two on that list. Well, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And you just proved Who's it. Who's number one? D this dude right here. Oh, my biggest fan? Yeah, yes, he's not, absolutely. He's not <laughs> fucking around. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, thank you, guys. Yeah, You're welcome. Thanks, thank for, thanks you. for talking. That was just Emily. That was fantastic. That was good. It's all bullshit. Yeah, this guy's two sides of every story. There is. Now, if that's the case, then one it is, side it is bullshit. Yeah, absolutely. Because easily. Easily. I think she's if our best the, player. If the victim says... It was not a big deal. The refs should take that into account. Well, at that point, do you? I mean, it's, I mean, it's not like we're in the NFL roller derby where rules are like this is going to cost people millions of dollars and she's going to be fine. True. They're having fun. Well, see, the last time I was here, they had a uh, they had a referee from another division, like an upper division, let's yeah. say in Florida, and. I so guess he came in like Rules McGee. Well, he yeah, like that, but he was also gr like almost grading the league to see if they are progressing, like if gotcha. they can get bigger. Gotcha. And so I don't know. I mean, maybe they're Scouting. trying to be a little bit more Scouting, intense. Yeah, kind of. Maybe they're trying to be a little bit more intense. Not really sure. Much like my camping trip. What do you mean your camping trip? Intense. Oh, God. <laughs> can he be stopped? I'm like the Terminator of corny jokes tonight. Wow. Yeah, so DF is the man, for sure. Oh, yeah, not, we might have to interview him, too, after the show. Maybe get a quick, what's new with you? <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, I might be maybe, a little bit maybe much. Not, maybe not. I've got, uh, all right, let's see. Who, who we got going on here? Oh, 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 oh. oh. This, this, is, this is getting real right now. Pushing. I get you know, I like how they when they get pushed out of bounds, they have to go They have back. to go I backwards. Like that. That they change directions, go back to the starting. I think mm -hmm. they end up I think they end up going back to one of those little blue lines. Yeah, like that's where they right that's where they started us. this line. Yeah, 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 I think. Yeah. So they get pushed out of bounds, they have to go oh she's going out of bounds again. No. It says nay to the blocker. Boom. Greased baby. Right through there. I gotta tell you, just Emily looks familiar to me. Really? Mm hmm. I think I, I've got to know just Emily from somewhere. Maybe you do. Maybe, uh. Maybe work or something. I don't know. I can't imagine. I, I don't know. How old do you think she is? Around 30? 25. Oh, okay. 27, maybe? I'm terrible with ages like under me. Like, it's not. Oh, oh she, looks, she looks about 26. Well, she's 14. <laughs> well, oh, he yeah. looks like he's 42. He's 19. You know, it's it's. Everyone does kind of look a lot older. Yeah, they really do. Oh, someone, like you know what's weird? It's sick bin. Yeah. Have a seat, sinner. Oh, someone's hurt. Hold on. We got another injury? No, I don't know what we got here. Oh, I think we got a a break. Do we have an injury? That's Black Silk. She's down. She's stretching. Yep. Oh, She's what's it gonna be, Black Silk? She's all right though. No tears. She's not throwing her arms up like it's over. She's got an ankle issue. Black she's, Silk. she's wiggling the ankle. She's getting up. Nope, back down. Still hurts. Black Silk's very tough. She is tough. She wants to get up, but she knows it can cause serious career, potentially career-ending injury if she's getting up too soon. 
Here she goes. Right, oh, with a bounce. Last, with a bounce, she got up. So that, see, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. She might have to take a little break, though. So. Yeah, not to be blamed. Speaking of which, yeah, the Ankles, kind of important for skating. Do what? Ankles. Moderately important when oh, it absolutely. comes to skating. Yeah, it's almost like shoulders in baseball. Or anything. Yeah. <laughs> Any sport. What were we talking about? I lost my train of thought. Uh, we were moved by this injury. We were deeply yeah, we concerned. Were, we were. Let's see, we were talking about... Uh, oh, man. Just Emily. You recognize her. Age. Oh, ages. ages. Yes. What was I going to say? About how uh, the difference between... Uh, being able to tell oh. ages younger. Do you ever look at like your parents' yearbook? It's cyclical. Kids look old, they look young, they look old, and I'm sure it'll bounce back again. You ever looked at like your parents' yearbook? I have. Did those kids in high school not look like they were 50 years old? Like oh, they yeah. looked like adults in business. Yeah, but I think I think you look at it now. It's the hairstyle. I think a lot of it has it's to do with true, the hairstyle. But they did look old. The chiseled chins. Yeah. Like men looked like men when they were in high school. Then you look at your yearbook, you look like we're 12 year olds. Yeah, like I, I look like a baby. Well, okay, not that they were black and white or anything like that, but it's just like it was there. I think the pictures are more simplified. Yeah. Like, and know, they were wearing more formal suit, more formal clothes. Yeah. Black yeah, and white. The hairstyles were more now, senior pictures, the classic tuxedo top. Yeah. Remember how you just slide in the front? There's no back to it, yeah, no nothing. Yeah. You just slide into it. That was pretty good. Did you ever get a class ring? I did. Yeah, I did too. Stupidest, One of maybe four times. Stupidest thing I've ever done in my life. In fact, I have it sitting on my bookshelf in my house. I shouldn't have said that. Thieves, <laughs> pay no mind. I'm going to move it when I get home tonight, so don't worry. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go sell it. Are you really? It's gold. It's a stupid ring. It's high school. Yeah, I have a, I have a the ring with ruby in it. Just some I had, stone. I have some some other stone. Yeah. Like amethyst or something yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. And it's 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 so stupid. It was like two hundred dollars or something like that. I've yeah, worn I it when I was in high school. And then I was like, dude, I'm not that guy who wears a class ring. Like, can you picture me wearing a class ring? No. No. No, but uh, 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 no, but also, not just Gold that. Gold is probably worth a hundred times what it was worth back then. Oh yeah, absolutely. You, you know, the one thing that you know my mom used to be worried about was, oh, don't give it to a girl. Oh yeah, my you mom know, the, said that yeah, too. Yeah, the classic. Don't give. I had an understanding of intrinsic value and in gold when I was in high school. Yeah. That. Not going to anyone except me or, or being smelted. I Throw remember. back to an old, older show when smelt was brought yeah. into question. I, uh, I actually had. Uh, um, what gold did you get? Gold, gold, yellow I mean, gold. You got yellow gold. 14 carat. The 14 carat. Yeah. All right, yeah. I think I, I, got, I think I got the 18. You know, you, you That's the less gold and it's harder, right? No, 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 no. It's more gold, but it's... is more durable. The yeah. lower is more durable. That's what I got. The, uh, my thing was, uh, I was never into jewelry, and I had to have one of those classrooms. I'm not either. I had to. You've seen, like, my extent of jewelry is watch. Yeah. I don't even have a watch. Yeah. I have a phone. I'm not a big jewelry guy. This is why we I just... This is marriage ring. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't wear rings. What am, when, I, uh, what am I, Papa Giorgio? <laughs> doesn't, uh, doesn't Ethan wear the other half of that ring? No, it, it's well. He technically does, but it's made out of rubber, and it's it's for the nether regions only. Oh, the classic cock ring. Yes, I get it. It's dual roll. It shrinks down to finger size, oh. which for him was interesting because we just needed one ring, one size fits all. Finger in, oh. finger in, and schnoz. Nice, nice. Yeah, too bad show wasn't here because I've seen yeah. at least four major knockdowns. Like oh major. yeah, yeah, yeah. Four at tumbles, least. four four small stumbles. It's so easy to make fun of him. And yeah. he loves it so it's actually not, he doesn't love it. It's but. not hard. No pun intended. <sighs> wow. Actually, you've done a great job tonight Thank in terms you. of jokes. Like Thank you. Yeah, absolutely amazing. If I had an X-Man power, that would probably be it. Shitty jokes. All right, so did you hear about this story? Did you uh, hear it about from, this? It was from San Key Beach. Okay. Well, Restaurant the kicks opus. out couple. The opus of class. Yeah. Restaurant kicks out couple with service dogs. Oh my god. So this oh, I'm glad you brought this up. We, you were talking about this last week, and we, I, we, you have an inside story to this. 
Oh, you have a monkey? personal experience. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah, spoiler alert. <laughs> um, so this restaurant, uh, it's called Maggie Mays on Clearwater Beach. Owned by uh, Rod Stewart, maybe? Do what? Is it, uh, is it affiliated with Rod Stewart Oh, at all? no, it's not. No. So, oh, wait, just Emily speaking. I want to hear what she says. Oh, oh there's an after that. party. Yeah, it's at a... Uh, some bar down in like Seminole or something like that. Yeah. Um, the. Uh, and feel free to buy me beer and shots. Oh, she wants feel people to buy. Feel free to buy me beer and shots. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. She she's gonna go. DF is gonna buy her a bunch of shots and stuff. We're just gonna jump on her tab. Yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah I'm uh, I'm with just Emily. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this restaurant. Uh, they this couple goes in and they got a service dog. And it was like, it was a, let me see exactly what kind of dog, but it was a dog that basically they were just a like. A service dog. Well, they're like, it's one of those, uh, it's a smaller dog. It wasn't a terrier, but it was a smaller dog. And it was, uh, they're just like, that's not a service dog. Like, what special does this dog do for you? And they say, like, it's emotional support. Yeah. Which, Which, if you don't know, probably most service dogs are in service with people, not because of blindness, deafness, physical physical ailments, what have you. It's usually anxiety, depression, yeah, stuff think, like yeah, that. that more often than not, from what I've found, that's what they're for. So they go in there, and uh, the restaurant owner, a man, um, I'm assuming manager, not the owner, goes, no, no, that's not going to work for us. Correct me if I'm wrong. You're in the restaurant industry. That is illegal, is it not? Absolutely. The if American someone says it's a service dog, whether or not they have the vest or whatnot, you, you can't ask for to, paperwork, yeah, vest, nothing. You, you can't ask for anything. And so I think that goes into what I was saying is that most of the people who have them, you can't tell the issue the person's dealing with. No. I actually have a friend who... I don't believe it. She, <laughs> she lived down in St. Thomas. Uh, she had a, uh, like a little, I don't know, something. It was a terrier. I don't remember what kind. To me, to me a dog's a dog. Obviously, there's differences between yeah. them, but it was just a terrier. Okay. And... Um, she didn't want to pay to bring it on the plane. Every, she used to come to um, Florida two or three times a year. She didn't want to pay to bring it on this cargo. $150, got her a service dog tag. Good to go. Never has to pay for it. Service dog gets on a plane for free. Can I be a service dog? That's amazing, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, this <laughs> Big was a humongous stumble. accident. Humongous accident right in front of us. Big stumble at turn two. Yeah, but, dude. Got right back up. No, yeah, Black Silk's back in, though. Black Silk is back in. Oh, here she comes. This JT hooker is dangerous. Oh, oh right back, back in the, the sin bin. bin. Oh, Black no. Silk, not pleased. She looks angry. Look at that face. Let's give her a thumbs up, though. Yeah, she she's not paying attention. Support. Wants nothing to do with looking over here. She's looking at her ankle. She's breathing heavy, too. She is pissed. She sees us. We got a, we got a smile with a mouth <laughs> We got a smile. That's good. That is good. So all, is, all is quiet on the Black Silk front. All right, so friend gets the service dog, flies for free now. That's it. Yeah, yeah, doesn't have to pay for it anymore. So that's the thing. For one hundred and fifty dollars, this dog now literally can get in anywhere. So back to the thing about the service dogs. There, what ends up happening is they don't end up leaving. They get irate. They get pissed. The fact that they're getting kicked out of this restaurant for having a service dog, which is legal. I call so the cops at that point. No, no. Somebody at the s the restaurant, like an employee, called nine one one to get them out. What do the cops do? See ya. They got to go. So I guess at that point, if you get irate and you start losing it, you, you lose your ability to say, I want to stay Yeah, here. but you know the, the ADA, American with Disabilities oh, gonna Act, is going to not only sue the restaurant, and but the now police they're probably going to sue the Clearwater Police. Absolutely. Like, to me, that is just a dumb move. And I know we don't know all the facts. Maybe the police found out that it isn't really a service dog or, or what have you. But, I mean, like. No, they had paperwork. Oh, it's over. It's done. These people are never going to have to pay oh, no. to do anything again. No, no, never. They just won. And they might own the restaurant. You never yeah. know. Yeah. Now. So What's it called? Maggie Mays? Maggie Mays, yeah. Maggie so maybe not owning that restaurant <laughs> anymore. <laughs> it's like a Seinfeld joke right there. <laughs> um, so the, the experience I had was a uh, customer. This is a good story. customer comes in, and uh, they... They let me know that uh, I, I was, I mean, I guess they were there for 15 minutes. I see this, like, little situation over here in the corner where I got girls, so girls taking pictures. Show was having? Oh, a little situation? Yeah, it was yeah. show. 
Uh, I see uh, about four girls over there getting pictures taken with uh, a monkey. And I walk over there, I'm like, mind you, this is in a restaurant. Yeah, and I, I walk over there, I'm like, oh, black stick fell again. Got right back up. So I go, I go over there, and I'm like, you know, what, what's going on here? One of the girls is like, oh, they got a monkey. I go, oh my god, a, a monkey? Seriously? So I go, I go over there, and I go to the guy. I go, hey, I go, uh, what's the? Uh, I go, what's with the uh, the monkey? You know? <laughs> and he goes, it's a service animal. A legitimate question, I my, think. My my wife has seizures. It's a seizure monkey. It uh, it can detect when she's gonna oh, have one. Great band name, calling it seizure monkey. <laughs> That's Fantastic good. band name. So we oh we got a restart right here in front of us, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, never mind. No, that she called it. She called it. So I go, and the guy's like, you know, I, I've got paperwork and all that stuff. I go, I'm not, I'm not saying that I doubt the fact that that actually is a service animal. I go, but we cannot have a monkey in the restaurant. Was the monkey in like a diaper? Absolutely. <laughs> so, so it's, what was it, Marcel? I don't uh, know the name. From Friends? Mar <laughs> didn't Ross? Or yeah. He used to have a monkey, Marcel? Yeah. So... This monkey um, has... Was it one of those little capuchin type deals? Like, like a little one? Like a little... Yeah, the like exact same monkey? thing. Yeah, capuchin. spider monkey. Yeah. So, so the lady's like, oh, well, you know, we're going to have to go or whatever. Well, what they end up doing is they end up putting the monkey on the boat. They came by boat. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm not a doctor, but, uh, oh, geez. That was like a face first down to the ground deal. So oh. they arrived on the boat with the monkey. That's awesome. They arrived on the boat. And like I said, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, if you are epileptic or have seizure stuff, being out like prolonged sun and alcohol I aren't don't know. necessarily I the know greatest things for you. I know alcohol probably should be avoided, but yeah. I don't know about the sun. Is that something? I would. I mean, I would assume prolonged sun. I mean, unless the sun is going on and off and on and off, then it would. Yeah, I guess that. But the uh, epileptics avoid solar eclipses. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> so. They end up putting the monkey back. The guy's like, oh, you're going to, I'm, I'm going to go to the, the news on you. What's your name, this or that? So I go, I call the corporate office, and they, they're talking to me, and they're like, well, we'll send you the email. Send me an email. What I didn't know, miniature horses are allowed as a service animal. It's pretty amazing. It has to be considered a housebroken miniature horse. Now that I would back. I would back seeing someone walk into wherever, restaurant, Walmart, with a little miniature horse. Yeah, if, okay, if I was there and a horse walked in, I'm you're, not saying a thing. Yeah, you're saying. You're yeah. getting some chicken wings, and it's going to be good. <laughs> good times. That's, uh... Yeah, that's fantastic, the monkey. Yeah, yeah I get it, dude. It's a service, mo service monkey. Your wife has issues, but no. No, I, you Monkey know, at a, a food table, not... No, not at all. Like, I don't, I don't understand that at all. Like, to me, it just doesn't make any sense and you know if it's me i'm not finding it because i know that that's not a legal thing it's kind of ridiculous yeah absolutely let's see we got what what the, what's the time say seven eight minutes, minutes and change about eight, about eight minutes left all right so let's see we'll go to the next one here this is another good one you'll really like this i'm going to save the next two for next time okay if i can get out of this at&t ad okay yeah, that looks like an ad i already have cell phone service okay I see a cop car. Yeah, I just got to get off this ad. How in the world do I get off this? Let's reload it. So that's what she said. It's, gonna be, it's probably going to be a new ad in the same spot. This is from the Patriot Ledger. Where's that? Uh, new England? Massachusetts. Well, yeah, but Massachusetts. Yeah. All right, so Braintree Cop, a Maserati owner impersonating officer. Didn't we talk about this? I don't remember. Well, we haven't familiar. talked about it on the show. But oh, you, we talked about yeah, this. Yeah, we did. So, okay, so there's another ad. No if big you didn't deal. know, we do actually talk yeah, other when than we're this. not holding a microphone. All right, so we've got a brain tree. So brain tree is a city mm -hmm. in, uh, in Massachusetts, northern Massachusetts, I believe. Black oh, silk, by the way. Making it out. That's just what I'm talking about. Bursting through the line. She's actually really good. The f the first, I'm noticing that. The first time I came, um, she was pretty new. Pretty new I can tell you there are a few of them out there I'm seeing that stand out. Standout performers. Well, Black Silk got shut down that time. Whoa, who was that? Oh, that was just that was just Emily. Yeah. All right. So Braintree man will be going to court to explain why he decorated his Maserati sports car to look like a police cruiser. Not just a police cruiser. Absolutely. 
but a Decepticon. Yeah, yeah, you goddamn right. This dude painted his car and detailed it and made it look like the Decepticon police cruiser from the movie. Now, the thing is, is if it was just painted like that, it probably wouldn't have been a big deal. Here's, where dummy, was, here's where dummy crossed the line. He put a police style shield on the doors. Stupid. And decals for 911. Stupid. K9. Stupid. And speed enforcement. Stupid. The only thing the car didn't have was a police style blue lights on top. That's it. Other than that, but not police even car. all cop cars have that anymore. Exactly. Undercover. Didn't it say to serve and protect on it too? Like a dumb It says dumb? no. It says to enslave or to. To what, did what it is say it? In the movie? Punish and enslave. Yeah, which is awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That'll probably be on real cop cars soon here after all this media attention from Ferguson. Now, okay, so a, uh, a patrol officer. By the way, Black Silk update, bursting through the line yet again, uh, uh, virtually untouched. <laughs> again. Oh, not that time. Not that time. But she did get right back up. She did. And said, fuck your couch. So about 4 p.m. on Saturday, this was a couple weeks ago, a uh, patrol officer, his last name was Holt, fell Hulk? behind. Yeah. That's a good name. Yeah, he, he uh, got behind the 2010 Maserati. The police chief said, this is what Holt had to say. Didn't know any police department that had a Maserati. So he turned on the cruiser lights and stopped it. It's a $100,000 car, so you would assume oh, that there's probably Lord. not very there's many. Some serious internal that. affairs needs to be investigating that yeah. office. Now, the driver told Holt that he believed he was assisting the police because other drivers noticed him and would slow down, think it was a police vehicle. All right, so you know what? That dude just blew his whole defense because he was quite literally impersonating a police Absolutely. officer at that point. Absolutely. He just said he's policing. Yes. He's trying. He's acting as a deterrent. That's This guy's an idiot. Uh, but Foster also noted that the Maserati's police shield decoration said Decepticons punish and enslave rather than the usual police motto of protect and serve. Here, there's two sides to the story. The guy, the guy is a total idiot. A for saying that, and then don't put a police logo on there. Just put a Decepticon logo. Yes, okay? something, something completely. Also, different. other side, he might win this in court because he really wasn't impersonating a cop. That'd be like if let's say that after the movies were made, you're a bajillionaire. It's your favorite movie. You go no. and buy the car they made in the movie. You tell me you can't drive that because it looks like a cop car. That doesn't seem. That's true. That doesn't seem real to me. That's true. No, 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 no. We did not. No, we didn't. Not yet. We're, I, we're posting stuff. Yeah, we're taking voices. No. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're getting heat. We're getting heat from just Emily for not taking selfies. You know, I'm going to name that last story Transformer. She just blew through the line again. Was it Black Silk? Yeah. Up by 24 points now. Oh, right through the line again. Weaving, weaving systematically through them. I've, got, I've got nothing. She's just gone around twice. Got three, got three and a half minutes left. She's gone around twice. Fatigue is setting in. I can see that now. Look at her. Well, I mean. Oh! oh! Black Silk says, not in my house. Which also is their house. So not in our house, she says. Dude, she just dumped that chick. Just Emily is not happy. No, not pleased. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be there. By the way, I said earlier, picking zero as your number, ballsy move. Yeah. Earned it. Yeah, she's, absolutely. She's, she's definitely earning that. I like the face paint. It's almost like an old school Blade Runner yeah, type. Yeah, uh, she looks like the chick from Blade Runner. Yeah. What was her name? I don't know. Offhand. Zip, zip. Zip -a it was Daryl Hannah, though. I remember Daryl Hannah Darryl looked Hannah. weird in that movie. Actually, I saw Daryl Hannah in a, uh, a sci-fi movie uh, maybe a year ago or so. Awful. Awful, Awful. movie. Well, is it like the, the majority she, of them. Is it the one where she's like a, a hitman? No, 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 no. She was uh, actually in a submarine way down below, and there was like a vampire sharks or vampire piranha type thing. Oh, it was terrible. With a description like that, I mean, how could it not be great? That's, <laughs> that's vampire sharks. That's yeah, they uh, I, actually one of the more recent ones I watched was uh, uh, Terracuda uh, versus Octo Shark. Or Shark, no, Shark Topus versus Terracuda. Shark Topus is Shark -topus, great. That's, that's what a good it. name. Was it Terracuda or Terracroc? 
It's Might have been Tara does Kroc. Does it matter? I think it was Tara Kroc versus Tara uh, Kuda Shark makes Obos. more sense. Yeah, is it, it like does. Terror Kuda? Like no, it was actually P T E R A. Oh, so it's like, like a pterodactyl. pterodactyl. Yeah. Oh, that's even that's even better. Yeah, it was on, on paper that looks even better. Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty bad. Terra Kuda. Ah! Honestly, we laugh, but any of those scenarios happening in real life is, is bad news. Oh, it'll be awful. Absolutely. Sharknado. Terrible. Stay indoors. I mean, it's. Yeah, but even indoors, it's not safe because they were, you know, some of the houses would flood. Oh. Sharks would be in the house. Actually, it's not something we'll put and on the And then at that point, you think, oh, I'll escape Sharknado by getting in a submarine. False vampire sharks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's not good. Nowhere. It's just when you thought it was safe. All right, so we'll. Uh, so we got a couple of girls in the sin bin right now. It's getting towards that part of the night where, is where it? they're getting tired, fatigue is setting in. Is that going to make up for a 31 point difference? I don't think so. I don't think so. I, it's not one of their jammers, though, either. Unless one of the jammers is in there, then it could potentially. It could, but it's not. It's not. It isn't. They are still fighting, though, and she went through like it wasn't even. Oh, that's Empire Record. Yeah. Oh, wow. They set up, they set up what I thought was going to be a pretty substantial defense. Two of them, they locked, they locked elbows. They were skating side by side, and one grabbed the elbow, and the other person grabbed the other elbow. Okay, one just got out of the sin bin, and another one just went in. She just skated right revolving by door. As if it was nothing. Yeah, revolving door. So uh, so what do you think about that whole ice bucket challenge? That's we might as well talk about that. We won't waste that for next Like time. usual, I'm going to give you two answers to one question. One supporting it, and one saying it's retarded. Or stupid, if you will. Drew Garabo wouldn't like that if you heard that. Um, <laughs> Drew Garabo. It's great that it's legitimately getting publicity, and it's getting it out there that people are donating and people are awareness. It, there, there's probably a lot of people who've never even heard of that and disease. And never would have. Yeah, absolutely. It's Lou Gehrig's disease, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Um, Terrible disease. Yeah, awful. It's basically like the Alzheimer's of your body. You just yeah, where it wither. Just ends up, yeah. yeah, you just wither away eventually yeah. to where your body can't even function. Um, it's great on that one side. Here's the other side. I don't get it. Here's, here's their answer to try and raise money for awareness. Do this so you don't have to donate money. See, but now a lot of people are saying that they do that and donate. Yeah, some people. Yeah. The vast majority of people are probably not doing that. No. Otherwise, ALS would probably be gone. Well, you got your famous people who, yeah, they're probably doing both, but the people who... The average people you see on Facebook yeah. are not donating $100 no. and making a video. I have seen some very funny ice bucket challenge the fails. The, um, Oh, yeah, there's that compilation. That was pretty good. That I like, seeing people <laughs> fail. You got these idiots. We'll post one of the videos up on the, the Facebook later, but I saw one where the... You got these morons with, like, garbage cans full of water up on the second story oh, of their house, yeah. and it just falls and crushes this person. Yeah. <laughs> Water's heavy. Yeah. Do you think that's a smart idea at that no, point? No. Clearly not smarter than a Hooters girl at that point, if that's your version of the... Wow. Or, or me in the movie trivia. Squash. It's awful. Flattening. I, I talk about You terrible. should phone up one night, and we'll do Joy Strikes Back. Yeah, return you know, of. Yeah, I'll do it. If return you're, of the dummy. Yeah, I'll do it if you're. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll do it if your <laughs> if your mic's off half the time. I'll yeah, I'll dumb down. What I'll do is I will go and I'll go home and specifically pick movies and not watch them. That way I won't know more about. Well, I'm them. trying to think. What kind of movies could I pick? Like that you uh, maybe. Know? Wouldn't necessarily. That's have what we can do. We'll, we'll form a list that I've seen them, not my forte. Okay. All right. All right. Maybe. How about Disney movies? Not an expert, but I'm knowledgeable. All right. So it would be good. That it might would be, be because yeah, pretty similar. When it comes to movies from like the 80s. Uh, it's not even. Gonna I'm be not fun. big it's on. It's not them. even going to be fun. Yeah, I, I'm just. Because that's basically my love of movies. Yeah. 80s, 90s early 2000s. I mean, that's the stuff you grew up with. Judge Dredd. Yeah, terrible. <laughs> Which, the new version of that, they made a remake just called Dredd. Yeah. Very good. I, I really liked it. Really? It was disgusting and violent. Very, it seemed very more close to what you would expect from the the, the comic book or the graphic novel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like 
Well, it's like the second Punisher, I thought, was a lot more. Yeah, brutal. Like, pretty brutal. Yeah, yeah. Pretty brutal. The first one was not good. No. Not good not at, at all. all. And how'd the guy die? Spoiler alert. That at the very end, didn't he fall into like, that glass recycling machine? It was like the that guy. big vat that turned around and broke up glass for the recycling. I don't think I ever saw the end of that well, movie. Well, he got... It, that's what happened. Oh. It was bad. Did you ever see the movie? It was called Midnight Meat Train. Oh, oh. yeah, I did. That was actually That, that was, was actually with really the Vinnie Jones guy, wasn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah, that was a gross movie. Creepy movie. And because it's the end, they're getting intense. Yeah, they're... They, it's a lot they're of, a lot of hits up a here. Notch. They're making it close. It's, what's the score here? 126 to 153. And there's zero, zero time left. A minute and oh, 30 Black seconds. Oh, Black Silk made it through. Black Silk made it through. What else is new? Yeah, very That's true. That's definitely not what's new with you. Yeah. Oh. Okay, time is out, so this is it. There's a minute and 16 seconds in the sin bin. Maybe they, maybe they play. Black Silk went down. I don't know what just happened. Again, Black Silk sent to the sin bin. Third time's a charm, because that's the end of the game on that's that it. one. That's it. Well, it's not over technically. It's, but no, it's, it's over. I think we can call oh. it. Oh, get out of hair. DF is getting pumped now. He realizes yeah, he that the end is near. Yeah. Oh, you know, this, is, this is beautiful. Oh, get out of my face says who is that oh man fatigue is setting in yeah it is getting 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 tired now oh that's zombie brain zombie brain fighting through it uh -oh, throwing oh, shoulders black silk. black silk back on the field guess who's back it's black silk she made yeah, it through wow yeah you can tell they're some of them they're getting tired now and they've and been they skating for an hour and yeah. a half almost i'm tired it's uh, it, it's been a it's been a different and interesting show. I liked it. I had a good time. I'm sure, the avid listeners did too. I think that's it. They're calling it. That is the bout. That's it. The that bout is, is the over. Bout. So officially, our team has won, 153 to 126. Because we're avid, as you would say, avid hot listeners. rod hottie uh, fans. Good work, hot rod hotties. We are now. Yes. So what what we'll do is we'll wait and maybe get a uh, uh, a closing last argument. word from yeah. uh, Black Silk before yeah, we, we get out of here. Was that it for the story? Were we done with something? No, that's it for the stories that we have this time. All right, good. All right, what I'll do is I will uh, we'll we'll pause time here. And we have an update. If you can hear the screams, if it wasn't exciting enough, <laughs> yeah, that one was one of the uh, referees. Just proposed after the match to TT Motorboat. TT Motorboat. Oh, he's going to be motorboat in those TTs, I assure you. Wow. And uh, she said yes. We're just. What? What if she said no? How bad oh, would that be? Amazing, amazing. That's not a. That's not a good time though. That reminds me of you ever see the old video of the guy who, uh, during the basketball game, they like stopped the game. It was during halftime and. Oh, he yeah, went out there and she proposed. said no. She ran away crying. Yeah, yeah. She like slapped him. Yeah. Wouldn't you just pretend to say yes and yeah, then be like. How bad do you feel at that point? Oh, end of the world. End oh, of yeah, the world. you're done. You're done. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. So we really picked the right night to come. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Marriages happening. Oh, bones yeah, for sure. broken. All right, let's see if we can get Black Silk yeah, let's over see here. If we can get Black oh, she's on her way. She's on her way here. Oh, she's coming. She's coming right now. So, that was quite a game. Yeah, and a, a proposal. And a proposal. I was surprised you weren't the MVP. Yeah, you were well, sporting through all night. I know, but like, I've gotten MVP maybe three times oh, in a so row. Yeah. Oh, so, I, saw I mean, last come on, they have to give it to somebody you else. You want them to wow. have fun. Yeah, yeah. But Everyone I, else needs I've a chance. I've gotten MVP quite a bunch in my derby career. My derby career. Lately. At least. So, like, yeah, we try to, you know, change it up and congratulate somebody for doing a good job. Like, Hindsight, who got uh, MVP blacker, uh, blocker for the Catastrophics, this is her first season playing, and she's still considered a rookie, but she was out there jamming a lot. Yeah, in her hall, year. So. Absolutely. So she, uh, yeah, I was, 
immediately thought she deserved a. Emmy so who Camera just got Award. engaged? Who was that? Okay, uh, one of the Motor referees, Vanilla Gorilla, is a tall guy right yeah, there getting the hug. Proposed to the woman wearing the red shirt and Motorboat, right? the black and checkered pants right there. Who is that? They've been a couple for that, a while is now. Is that TD Motorboat? That's TT Motorboat and Vanilla Gorilla. Nice. Yeah, God, what's that kid's name going to be? <laughs> oh, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Something interesting, I'm sure. Yeah, she's our bench for this season. And bench, like we were talking about earlier, that doesn't mean she's like a sub or just sits the bench. She no, like, she, she actually she has played games, but we do need a bench to call out Strategies. our lines to let us know who's going out. Gotcha. So, yeah, how actually, do you, how, do you, how do you guys pick your jersey numbers? How do we pick our you just numbers? Pick it? Yeah, because like, I noticed they shot up into the thousands. Yeah, it, it can be a, a random number. Just whatever you want like, it to be. Like I was born on the 19th, and I'm a seamstress, so I'm like, yeah, 19 inches. Sure, why not? It's measurement. Why not? So like, yeah, some people do their birthday, their birth, birth year, their kid's birthday. I don't know, some special number to them. And gotcha. All right. That makes sense. That makes sense. Well, no, we had a good time tonight. Yeah. Good. I'm glad you guys did. Did you see me take a spill over there yep, earlier? Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. I thought. Yeah, what happened? Was ankle? Well, yeah, what happened was Zombie Brain hit me, and I went back, and my toe stop caught the floor, so my foot bent backwards, and it just cracked really bad. Mm -hmm. Like, when you crack, you, like, move yeah. your ankles in the morning. But, like, it scared me. Yeah. So I was like, hold on, let me check myself. And I was fine, but I had to sit out, because, like, the rule is if you go down like that, you have to sit out for at least three jams, so, like, you make sure you're okay. And I went back out there, and I was just careful, and it shouldn't be anything. No, but you seemed fine. You were wiggling it. Can be it. scary. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You guys were eating it. It was hardcore. Absolutely. Oh my God! Yeah, they had seven. We had nine. We earned it though. That was absolutely. Good. We won. And they kept it. It kept it exciting. They, we did. You guys were killing it Thank for a while you. there, but they uh, they came back, made the ending exciting. I know. I felt so bad when I got out in the last jam. Like, oh, I blew it for the whole team, but it's okay. Yeah, no, it you made good. it work. Yeah, <laughs> third time's the charm. Came back. Well, congratulations to Black Silk. <laughs> and the Hot Rod. And the Hot Rod Hotties. We won. 160 to 144. And maybe yeah. if we can manage it, maybe we'll be out for the next one. Yeah. yeah. We'll I'd see. Oh, we'll, uh, well, not the travel. With business part. cards. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah. We, we make brides make working ones, on it later. But I'm going to bring some real ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Here, here's my business card. It's a piece of paper with scribbles on it. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm heading out. Thank All right. You right. Well, you have good. a good night. Thanks for having us. You too. We'll yes. See. Thank you. And All right. So uh, until next time, uh, sometime next week, we'll be yeah. doing a show next week. All right. And we will have this up, I don't know, about what? Tonight. Later on, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll get it up later. Right. No homo. Well, actually, how's that?